Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run an HTML file in a Visual Studio Code. Well, it's super simple and perfect for beginners learning web development. Let's get started. Well, I assume that you have already installed Visual Studio Code ID on your Windows 11 machine. If you haven't installed, then go ahead and install Visual Studio Code ID first. Next, let us open the Visual Studio Code ID. So here, go to the search bar and just type Visual Studio Code and just click on the Visual Studio Code over here. Once we open the VS Code, next we can create a HTML file. So in order to create a HTML file, go to the file, click on new file and here let us give the file name index.html. Notice the file extension over here, .html. So we are going to keep the HTML code inside this file, hence the file name is index.html. So you should give the file extension that is .html ok. Next hit enter and here we need to choose the location where this HTML file will locate. So in my case I am going to go to desktop and here I will create a new folder and let me name it as vs code. You can also select the existing folder if you want. Next here I am going to select this folder and click on open and here I am going to keep this index HTML file inside VS Code. So here I'm going to create a file. Well here let me quickly write some sample HTML code. And you can see this is the HTML code. It has a title, my first HTML page and the heading hello world. Paragraph, this is my first HTML file running in Visual Studio Code. So this is the simple HTML example. Next let us go ahead and let us see how to run this HTML file. Well to run the HTML file easily will use an extension called live server. So just go ahead and install the live server extension. So in order to install the extension, go to the extensions tab over here and just click on it and here just type live server. And here just choose this live server over here. And next go ahead and click on install button to install this live server extension. So just click on it. Well notice here the live server extension is successfully installed. Next just close it and go to the explorer and here you can see open folder. So just click on it and just open this VS code folder and just select folder. Now again the HTML file will open in this VS code folder. So just click on yes I trust the authors over here. Next just click on this index.html file. Next to run this HTML file in a web browser. Just right click on the HTML file and here just click on open with live server. And here you can see do you want to allow public and private networks to access this app. Just click on cancel. Well notice here the index.html file is successfully opened in a web browser. So in my case Microsoft Edge is the default web browser that's why the HTML file is opened in a default web server. But whatever the default web server that you are using you will get this HTML file in that web browser. Ok. If you want to open this HTML file in a Chrome browser then just copy this link and open the Chrome browser and in a new tab just paste it and hit enter and there we go. The HTML file is successfully opened in a Chrome browser. Ok. Next let us go to VS Code again and here let us edit and let us see what will happen. So here what I will do I will add one more line of code over here and I am going to say h2 hello hello world and followed by subheading and then h2 so basically here i have added heading h2 next let us save this file and let us see whether this change will reflect in a browser or not so just open the chrome browser and there we go you can see the changes are reflected in the web browser so this live server is pretty useful so whatever the changes you will do in the code that will get instantly reflect in the web page. The best part of live server extension is that any changes you make to your HTML code in a VS ID will automatically update in a browser. So no need to refresh manually. Alright, that's it. Now you know how to run an HTML file in Visual Studio Code using live server. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more web development tips. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.